Let's do other stories now because participants at um, managers of the Disability Common Fund in the uh, Bungpu and the Nakbandu district in the northeast region have cautioned beneficiaries against the misappropriation of the support they receive from the program. The district social welfare officer, Imano Ose Mensa, disclosed that the fund management committee has given their approval for sanctions to be applied against beneficiaries who divert their support from the intended purposes. Correspondent Ilya Sutanko reports. In all, 73 beneficiaries out of 106 applicants received various support from the fund dispersed by authorities of the Bunkurgu Nakanduri District Assembly. These beneficiaries were described as those with the most pressing needs who were selected through intense vetting by members of the District Fund Management Committee. In his welcome address at a meeting to disperse the items, the District Coordinating Director Jacob Dindion Colan called for the judicious use of the support. The 3% of the Disassembly Common Fund that is meant for disabilities is for their development. It is not for consumption. And I am happy to say that the Bunkungun and Bunkungun Disassembly have been very diligent in disbursing the funds to meet this particular need. Uh, this particular disbursement, I think that is unique because a chunk of the money has been used to purchase items that will support people in various ventures. The items given to the beneficiaries included wheelchairs, hair dryers for the hairdressing venture, electric sewer machines, deep refrigerators for the sale of local beverages as well as sachet water. Others receive cash support to cater for their education and health needs. The district chief executive Joseph Luknan said the assembly under his leadership will continue to timely disperse the disability fund as mandated by law. Last year, January, February, we were able to disperse the fund to no less than 50 beneficiaries out of about 100 and something applications, applicants. And October 2022, again, we were able to disperse about 65, uh, to disperse to 65 beneficiaries out of about 130 applicants, those who submitted applications and they were shortlisted and uh, assessed. And it was not only cash, some were also given free freezers, other sewing machines, others set up kit for mobile money operation. And today, we are here to disperse another trench of uh, 3%. The district has a total disability population of 586, according to the district social welfare officer, Emmanuel Osser Mensa. Measures have been put in place to check the application of the support received by the beneficiaries, including sanctions against those who will be found misusing their support. Right after this disbursement, sometime will pass, the district office will go on monitoring to ensure that they have put their, their support to good use. If we're happy to find some of these misapplications, the sanction is that such reports, their letters are frozen over time um, so that we ensure that they put what we have already given them to good use so that later on, when we have realized that they are putting it into good use, we can now continue to help them. He also called for his office to be equipped with resources and logistics, including a vehicle for the effective and efficient running of the department. Lamisi Conlan is a 43-year-old physically challenged individual. He is the president of the Disability Association in the district. He received cash support to set up a mobile money business. He spoke to Joy News about the intervention. About 23 years that I'm having this problem and I could be able to manage and take care of myself more small and then the, through the district assembly support I still live comfortable. Anytime I have problem and I seek for help, they need to support. Another beneficiary also expressed her gratitude to the district for the assistance. I'm grateful for your assistance. I'm also asking for my police to also apply. Those who don't know should also apply so that they should. They can also be given the support they want to support. From Bunkurgu, Ilyas Tanko. For Joy News.